10 words to describe the big bomb. I don't know if I can count to 10, but let's try. One would be chaos. Launchpad. Insanity. Am I allowed to swear? Fucking amazing time. Crust. <laughs> Drunks. <laughs> Paramedics. Fun. A lot of work. In all ages. The Big Bop started in 85, early 80s, as a DJ, a DJ nightclub, and it was the place to go to in the late uh, 80s. But then in the 90s, other nightclubs popped up in the district, in the DJ district. So since the Big Bop was a little outside of downtown, you know, uh, uh, they went under or whatever. So we came in, we took it over in 96 and converted it from a DJ nightclub into a live venue. And we had these ideas of bringing uh, big bands there, uh, but we couldn't really compete against uh, the more established live venues. So what we did was Whenever we did uh, shows, we were doing all ages. It was key. It was a key part of our uh, of our scene because you know when I when I started going there, I was I don't know like 14, and uh, that opened my eyes to so many opportunities and so many sick bands at the time. So many people. It was a sense of community at that age. You know, you're all growing up together. If that wasn't there, as I was saying before, like I don't know where I would what I'd be doing right now, like straight up. Even though it was a lot harder to, uh, to run, to maintain and everything else because of kids and all ages and we had to watch uh, our license uh, and everything else. Uh, that was basically what, what we had to do and that's why a lot of kids, 14, 15, whatever, got attracted to the Big Bop because there was a place for them to play. There was a venue for them to go and play. One rap of the out on the street. Bring back the year. One rap of the new fits that you be. Bring back the year. With the love drop, you can't find them anywhere. Bring back the year. It was a middle of the night. disgusting, awesome place. And uh, all the places around here were sort of like that. Even the bank across the street was closed. It was like today it's Starbucks. God forbid, uh, we need another Starbucks across from a Starbucks, but, uh, you know, fuck, they're selling tables out of what used to be the goddamn place that I played in. It's the whole fucking destruction of our culture. I drive down that street, and I just, I can't believe it's, it is what it is. It's a complete 180, and I almost have to, like, you know, get the crust out of my eyes. I can't believe it. Uh, that it's, it is what it is now. I mean, it's a complete change and it's definitely sad to see it go. Um, I've never been in that furniture store. I don't know if they're successful, but I don't know. I think it would have been more successful if, if it was still the big bop. I love the way the CB2 looks. I think it looks fucking great. That building probably by now would have fallen over and somebody would have gotten hurt if it was still open. I mean, it was getting to the point where the amount of money to, that would have had to have gone in to make the place a viable venue still mm -hmm. wasn't, wasn't gonna be available for the fact that, for all the nostalgia that people have about the place, last couple of years they weren't very well attended. Yeah. What do you think uh, would need to be done in order to kind of restore an all ages uh, scene? I don't know. Everyone's waiting for someone else to do something. No one's ready to be that person that's like, hey, I'm gonna be that guy to, uh, to change it and bring it back. Because there's opportunities, there's venues in Toronto that we could do all ages and take it over, but it's a lot more, you know, people are a lot more cautious nowadays when it comes to setting up shows and like turning a, sh like a venue into an all ages venue. Because let's face it, the kids break in the drywall, they kick the doors in, they knock out the fucking urinals. They're a pain in the ass, right? That's what punk rock kids do. That's what I did when I was their age. So. Um, and the liability, the stage diving, you know, all it takes is one kid to break his neck and then the venue's done. Maybe it'll take Don getting something downtown again. Queen is not the same. They pulled the Purple Heart right out of our city. 